at this point you have probably seen me do a lot of terraform commands and you've probably seen the output of these commands a lot as well right well let's take a few minutes to talk about the outputs of these commands in a very quick brief and a quick highlight the main goal of this video is to just make you aware and familiar with the various sections of the output of the commands especially terraform plan terraform apply and terraform destroy now when you run terraform plan or apply or destroy it's going to display the proposed changes plan this will go through the configuration files format them and then display the actions on screen i want to only highlight two things in this point first of all what you see here is the execution plan and the list of the resources that will be created modified or deleted or even replaced and if you notice at the start of each of these lines there is a symbol which can be one of three cases when it is a plus sign then it means that the resource or the value or the property will be created and added into the actual resources in gcp when this is a minus in red color it's obviously meaning that the resource or the property or the value will be removed from the live configuration when it is a tilde which as you can see here it means update in place it's not going to delete anything it's not going to recreate anything it's just going to change a value in place without removing that value now to help you get the proposed changes easily actually terraform displays a legend which is the one that you've seen here this is a better one with more items in the legend so basically it displays this legend at the top of the plan as well as a summary of the actions that are going to be performed in this plan at the very bottom of this plan what you need to pay attention to are the deletion and the update operations basically when whenever you apply anything and it, it when terraform wants to delete something you just make sure you review that which might cause some issues if you're talking about resources in production for example maybe it's a production vm or something like that just make sure that you are aware of the changes that are going to happen if there is something you don't need or you don't want that's going to be applied then it's time to go back to your configuration and adjust it and I'm sure when we start going into GCP stuff in this series, we're going to encounter a lot of these situations. And you will see that at some point in time, we will have to go back to our configuration and change them to make sure whatever change we are introducing is an intended change and nothing we don't want will ever be implemented in the uh, environment. So yeah, that's all for this video. I mean, in the later videos, again, we'll go into many situations and many cases. I will show you how you can adjust based on each specific case and scenario.